or an, an elite bat path, however you like to call it. We don't want this pushing movement. So you see this kind of like low push, kind of put low push with that elbow. I'm pulling with this elbow and pushing with this back elbow. That's kind of the idea of what we see with knob to ball. So we start to get a little bit closer and you see, continue to see that my hips are turning me. This back foot, I'm I'm doing this video in a slow, it's a full speed video, but I'm um, doing the movement in slow motion, um, which I think is great for hitters to have to do, to be able to, you should be able to go through your swing in slow motion and be able to have your mechanics be the right way. So that's why you kind of see like at this point right here, this is where my hips um, are getting as far as I can before that back foot kind of comes up and around. And because it's not full speed, that's why it's kind of like a little hop with that back foot. So that's not exactly what would happen with my back foot um, in, in an actual full on swing. <clears throat> just to explain that a little bit. But you'll notice my hands over here just look like they're pushing. See that movement? It's a push forward. My barrel is going steep to the ball, meaning it's kind of coming in down at an angle like this, and I'm pushing. You can also tell that this is more knob to ball than this because of the change in the angles of my elbows. So look at right this angle in my elbow. See how it's going from kind of a close angle to extending and pushing out pushing towards the ball, my hands are way in front, and then I'm bringing the barrel around. Okay, what we see over here is I actually keep my angle, I'm turning, it's kind of hard to tell I guess a little bit from this angle, but I'm turning and keeping this angle of my um, bottom hand elbow pretty much the same, and same with this front elbow as well. But if we look over here, these the angles in the elbows change, and it's because I'm pushing with my bottom hand, um, uh, pulling with my bottom hand and pushing with my top hand. Okay, so you see the difference between here. It's the great spot right here. Um, what, what, what we don't want is to have that pushing mechanism because that ends up having, um, taking away a lot of your power. So some people might, some people are saying like, oh, this is shorter to the ball. This one over here, this is shorter to the ball and that's better. We want to be short and compact. Yes, that's that's right to some extent. Um, we we don't want to have a big loopy swing that's way up underneath like this. But by just going straight to the ball, you're going to have to be perfectly in time with that pitch coming in because you aren't getting on plane sooner. So there's that happy medium. We don't want this one and we don't want this one. We want the one that's right in between. I'm getting on plane with the pitch. Back here, my my bat gets in the zone really early. In the zone, really, or I'm on plane with the pitch right now. My bat is in the zone, way back here, way back there. I'm through the zone this whole time. That's what we want to have for our bat path instead of this one on the right. I don't get on plane. My bat doesn't get into the zone till right there. 